Hi there and welcome to another Django and HTMX tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to use HTMX to dynamically add films to this film list page. And this is going to be done entirely through Ajax requests without any page refreshing and entirely using HTMX attributes. Some of which we have seen before and we're also going to see a couple of new ones in the next tutorial. So. What we have here is a dynamic page where we can add films to this film list component and it will be added dynamically to the page um, and we don't do any page refreshes here it's just simply done through ajax requests and htmx so let's see how to do that by diving into the code so in the previous tutorial we had a login and a registration system and we had these components here with this crazy animation that existed on the registration page. So we're gonna dive into the code again and we're gonna see how to extend this setup with a new page and we're gonna see how to build out a new model in Django as well and that's the first step. We're gonna to go to the code and I'm gonna build out a movie model. It's gonna be called a film model and this is gonna inherit from models.model and this is gonna have two fields. One is the name of the film which will be a car field and we'll say max length equals 128 and we'll also say that unique equals true here and we also want to link this with a many to many field so it's going to be a models dot many to many field and it's going to be linked to the user model so we're going to track for each user what films have they individually added to their list and we'll give it a related name of films and the related name means that when we have a user we can then simply say user.films.all and that will allow the user to retrieve all their films. With that in place we can then go ahead and make the migrations and then migrate. Now I've already done this so there will be no migrations to apply but that's what you'll need to do. And the next step is we're going to create a new template which is going to be called films.html and I'm going to copy paste the content of this in here and then we'll walk through it. Now the first step here is we are extending the base.html. Um, there's a base file which contains some setup code on every page. So we have that and we have a content block. Now the, the important part of this, uh, this template is that we have a form and in that form we have a CISRF token and an input and a button. The input is going to allow the user to enter a film name and the button allows them to submit that to the back end. And importantly, on line 15 to 17, we also include uh, another HTML file which we're going to create right now. And this is in the partials directory and it's going to be called filmlist.html. And again, I'm going to copy paste this code, but this is basically going to iterate through the films if they exist. For film and films, it's going to print out the film's name within a list block. So if there are no films, we'll display this message here. So now that we've got this, let's go back to the films.html. We'll save that file and we'll save the models. And what we need to do now is we need to create a URL and a view for these. So first of all, let's head over to urls.py and I'm going to paste in a URL I've got prepared to you. This is going to be for the films route and we're going to now create a film list class. So within the views.py file, let's go to the views.py file. I'm going to do a couple of imports up here that we're going to need. First of all, the new model that we've created, film, and also the list view, which is a Django class-based view that allows you to easily prepare a list view. So I will now go down here and we're going to create a class called film. I think it's called, um, let's go back to urls.py. It's called film list. So we'll create a class called film list, which will inherit from the list view. And all we need to do in this class is we need to define a few attributes. Again, I'm going to copy paste this code just for quickness. We have a template name and this template name links to the films.html that we've created here. We also have a model. Now, because it's a list view, we need to tell Django which model are we actually getting listed out here. And it's going to be the film model. And the context object name allows us to refer to that within the template as films. So when I say for film and films, the actual variable films is coming from this context object name, which we can set here to anything we want. Finally, I'm going to do a get query set. We're going to override that because we want to filter 
the films that are returned. We don't want film.objects.all. We want to filter them down by the user's films. Only the ones that the, the individual logged in user has added will be accessible here. So we've got a get query set method where we extract the user and then we say user.films.all. So one last bit of preparation is I want to um, go back to the, the nav bar that we have set up in previous tutorials. Now you can see we're linking to a movies page here. If the user is authenticated, we'll show that link, but currently that is um, that is actually just going nowhere. So we're going to replace this with a URL that links to the film list that we've just created. If we go to urls.py, you see that there is a, a URL here with that name. So that's going to load up this new view that we've created. So we'll save the, the nav bar. If I run the server now, let's see if that works. So going back to this page here, we are going to log in because this is only accessible through login. So we'll use that mark user that we've created. And if we go to the films page, you see we get back these films that Mark has. Um, and if I could add another film to that, let's say Big Lebowski, we should now see nothing happens because we haven't wired up the HTMX. Now this is the part where we're going to do the HTMX code. When the user submits this button, we need to send a post request to the back end, which will create the new film and add it to the user's list. And then what we want to do is return the HTML that's swapped into the DOM. And we're going to walk through this process in this tutorial. So within the films.html, we're going to add to the button um, we're going to add an hx post attribute and this is going to send to a Django URL. So we're going to use the URL template tag in Django and what we're going to say is add film. Now, now we're going to create this view in a minute but it's going to go to a, a view called add film and we also want to set up an hx target. Now I'll explain this in a minute but the target is going to be an ID of film list. Now what this means is this include here is wrapped around a div called film list. We want to swap the include each time by returning it from the Django view. So when we perform the add operation, we're going to return this partial, which is going to be swapped into the target, which is the film list. So we, by default, we include it, but when we perform our Ajax request with HTMX, we're also going to return this fragment here and then we're going to swap it into this target which is basically that so we're going to replace it so we're going to let's see what that means in a second so what we need to do now is we need to create this other url here and again i'll paste this into urls.py this is going to be under the htmx url pattern so if i paste that in we've got another url and we need to create this htmx based view now in the views.py file so if we go to the bottom here create another view here called add film and it's going to take the request as always and what we're going to do is we're going to extract from the post request request.post.get we're going to get if we go back to the films.html the name of this attribute is film name this is what's passed to the server when you submit the input so we'll get that out there and that will give us the name of the new film that the user has submitted then what we want to do is we want to create a new instance of that film in the database. So it's going to be film.objects.create name equals name. That will give us back a film instance that has been created in the database. And then what we can do then is add the film to the users list. So what we're going to do here is say request.user. That will give us the logged in user. Remember that the user has a related attribute called films, which links to the many-to-many -many field. And then we can call the add function and pass in the new film. And that will add the film to the logged in user's list of films. Finally, and this is the key part for HTMX, this is what's going to be swapped into the DOM. We will return a template with all of the user's films. So what we do is we get all the films in a variable called films and that's going to be request.user.films.all and finally we'll render that fragment that we had by calling the render shortcut function and we will include the partials slash film list.html finally we'll pass a context object where we have the films in a variable called films 
and that should do it that should return the HTML fragment here that we have with the films variable populated with all of the users films and because we have HX target set to the film list here this is going to swap that into the inner HTML of this div because that has the same ID and will replace or swap in the content into this block here so it's going to replace the film list dynamically with new HTML each time the user adds a film. So if we go to the page and test this out, let's say we're adding the Big Lebowski here, and we see we get an error, and let's see why that's the case. Um, I think if we go to views.py, this is the function that we wrote, and I think we need to wrap the dictionary key in quotes because um, in Python that's what we need to do. I have been writing a lot of JavaScript recently, so that's my bad there. Hopefully now this should work. If I refresh the page, you can see that did actually add the Big Lebowski. If I now add Goodfellas to this list, hopefully it will dynamically render, and it does. So now we can add as many movies as we want to this list, and it should dynamically add them as we need to. So add Chinatown here, and we can do this forever if we want. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to delete these dynamically with HTMX. But I think for this video, it's worth revisiting just what we've done quickly here. We have a films.html, which has this small form here, which corresponds to this at the top here. And we submit a post request whenever the button is clicked. That's the button's default trigger is to click. Remember in the last tutorial, there is an HX trigger attribute. We don't need to specify it because our button's default is to click. And when we do that, we send a post request to this URL, which returns HTML content that is then rendered into the HX target, which is the inner HTML in here. So every time it returns the partial, but it repopulates the films based on whether or not the user is adding a film at each stage. So that wraps up this video. In the next one, we'll look at how to dynamically delete films from this user list component. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and there will be a comprehensive blog post on this as well and the code will all be on GitHub. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching.